Well, Boyd Pierce is ready to introduce this event. We'll swing up there and we'll find out who's going to wrestle. This event, two out of three balls, a 45 minute time limit in the white corner. This is Black and Red, the corner of our right from Mexico City, Blackie Gordon. And it comes to the two out of 245 pounds, the winner of the recent international championship in the past for our world. Well, Black Gordman is arguing with the referee, and I was just uh, looking at him closely and trying to determine what his point was. He wants the Chavo Guerrero to put up the junior heavyweight belt, which he won in a tournament in Japan, and he now is a solid and legitimate claimant to the title of world's junior heavyweight champion and uh, Gordman wants him to put up the belt. But this is a non-title match. Gordman knew it when he signed for the match. Chavo knew it. And Chavo, of course, is uh, willing to meet any legitimate claimant to his title, He's, or challenger to his title, do. So this one is two out of three falls. And it should be quite a battle. Chavo is one of the brightest young men in the wrestling game, and he comes from wrestling stock. His father, Gory Guerrero, one of my dear friends and a man whom I respect very greatly for his wrestling ability and for his fine qualities as a human being, brought his son upright. Gory, Chavo Guerrero is everything his father would like to have been. His father was the Texas heavyweight champion at one time and the, earned the accolades of the fans and the uh, experts alike. So it's Chavo Guerrero, head scissor, pulling the head of Blackie Gordman along the canvas, trying to scrape the skin off his nose if he, if he can. And Gordman managed to get his head out by using his body as a lever, and as he fell down, he fell back to the canvas. He landed on the legs of Chavo Guerrero. He's got his arms wrapped underneath Chavo's legs, but his head just popped out. Now it's popping back in, almost like a cork. And the... Um, notice where he's leaning, right on the shin bone. Gordman is a man who knows the difference between just applying a hold and applying it properly. Gordman's tough. He's a rugged individual. He can outshout and outruff an awful lot of people. Full Nelson is the grip as the chin of Chavo comes down close to his chest. There's a quick switch. He ducked out and broke the hold and then used the go-behind to come up with exactly the same grip. And Chavo used his skill and there's a foot placed in the right place. Nice move by Chavo. He rolled up to his feet and was in a ready position in a hurry. We saw that Japanese arm lock and the manner in which it was used. Nick Kozak suspects. No, I guess he saw it because he's breaking it. And usually one criteria that is used by, by all referees is that they have to see what's happened. Then they call it. Of course, there are that click of fans who claim that referees can't see anything. And sometimes they seem to be right, but not always. There is a leg breaker for sure. Chavo Guerrero with a hold that 
he learned from his father. You can bet your boots on that. Well applied. But the weak spot in this hold is that if you fall wrong, you're going to hurt your own leg. And so Chavo recognized it. There is a well applied maneuver. He jerks that leg, holds one steady. It works right smack up into the hip. A determined Chicano, Chavo Guerrero. Chavo is a master at finding the right place to uh, apply the pressure. He also knows when to lay off. <laughs> he did it then. Back heel trip and he took Chavo down solidly. There's the one that gives you the Charlie horse when you land with that knee on the, on the soft part of the leg. Give Blackie Gordman points. He has all of his weight down just above the ankle of Chavo Guerrero and he's pulling up on the foot. Here he comes again to reinforce that say, look at the way that leg is bent, the, the, the foot rather. Hard to take. Chavo, with all the flexibility of youth, manages to take it and still be in a position to bounce back. Five minutes. Five minutes have gone by. This is the first fall of a two out of three fall match. And Blackie Gordman comes in to slam him into the turnbuckle. And Gordman's reply to referee Nick Kozak was, it's open, it's open. Whether it was open or not is open to argument. But uh, Chavo Guerrero, as he catches the, the blow there, there's that swing and that wallop right smack between the eyes and hard to take. He's chopping down on that, um, on that hand. And Chavo Guerrero was run that time into the rope. And remember that these ropes, as we call them, are steel cables covered with rubber. He drove his hand so that he spread the, had the fingers spread apart and had the rope run up between the fingers. That's Gordman uncorking, Gordman doing the, the belting, and now Chavo fighting from his knees how do you fight a man who rips you across the eyes? And there was a quick change of mind. Chavo Guerrero, instead of taking the chance that he felt he was taking, decided he would get further if he reversed his uh, direction. Now, well, good grief. Now, I've seen a lot of people come off the corner. This is the first guy I've seen come off the middle of the rope. He jumped up on that rope. The first ball, seven minutes, four seconds, Chavo Guerrero. He used the bouncing effect of the rope. He used the pull on the top rope to go through the air and to hit his target. And his target was Blackie Gordman. So Gordman now has lost the first fall of this battle with Chavo Guerrero here in the Sam Houston Coliseum in Houston, Texas. We'll be back in a moment. Right now, we're going to pause for this word from the studio. Three, two, one, the bell. And the bell sounds now for fall number two. Chavo Guerrero is one fall ahead. Blackie Gordman has been making some suspicious moves in the a uh, two-minute intermission period that uh, takes place between falls here in Texas wrestling. And now uncorking is Chavo Guerrero. And he comes around, you will note, with forearm blows, not with blows with the fist. There again, part of the things that he learned from his, his father, the ability to throw that legal wrestling wallop or the wallop with a fist, whichever you happen to use at the moment. 
And he caught him a beauty. So Gordman now wants to change the attitude and well, I missed exactly what he did that time, and I am not certain, but it, it, he had so, something, uh, yes, I was going to say, it looked to me like he had something like a wire, a string, or a hunk of rope in his hand, and it is part of what he is wearing around his wrist. He has black tape. And this is perfectly legal to support the the wrist. A lot of men do it. As a matter of fact, uh, <coughs> Chavo Guerrero has it on his wrist, except he's using either a white, sw not sweatband, he's using uh, adhesive tape as a support for his, um, for his wrists. But he's got a garret around his neck and Chavo Guerrero's in trouble. The crowd is screaming here to referee Nick Kozak, trying to tell him that what should happen is that this hole should be broken. And there you saw the move by Blackie Gordman. But the referee was over to the side and could not have picked it up as easily as we were able to see it from our position. And the crowd here is just a mass of uh, assistant referees as they try to tell the Nick Kozak what has happened. You notice the way he came out there with that thing, held it in two hands that time and drove it forward at the throat of, of Chavo Guerrero. Front headlock and ooh, ooh, he, that bulldogging headlock. And, and now Gordman gets up there and scream something at the fans in Spanish. I don't know the words, but the tone was absolutely apparent. He was telling them that uh, that was Black Gordman's way of finishing Chavo Guerrero. Top man is Gordman. We've got a fall right now. Blackie Gordman. Even in the second fall, three minutes, 11 seconds, Black Gordman. Legally or illegally, he managed to chalk up enough punishment to put Chavo Guerrero on the canvas and to score the equalizing fall. Chavo is still down. He will have two minutes to recover. We'll be back with the third and deciding fall after this word from the studio. Blackie Gordman has been posturing in front of this crowd, proclaiming that he is the man should have the belt. He has been making moves that have brought a censure from referee Nick Kozak, and you just saw as he, for the first time during this intermission period, laid a hand on Chavo Guerrero. 30 seconds. Again, Blackie Gordman has aroused the fans with whatever he was doing. I, he has taken the tape off of one wrist. I don't know whether... There was any on at the end of the second fall. I'm not quite certain. But at any rate, time is running out in the intermission. Five, four, three, two, one, the bell. And there comes Gordman to pound out the chorus with that foot in the belly. And he's got uh, Guerrero literally hanging on the ropes. There's a, oh, that isn't a simple back heel and trip. He took Chavo down to the canvas with his own body and drove him into the canvas. And that's a solid fall in anybody's language. Here he is again. There, you notice how Gordman fell with him and came right down on top, but he, he's got to hold him. There's Gordman again. The, the tape that he had around his right wrist has now become a weapon. It has disappeared from his left wrist, but the now, now from the right wrist too. So Gordman here is quickly moving things from one side to another, and uh, Nick Kozak has discovered where the object was. 
the advantage to Gordman has disappeared and Guerrero is trying to bust him open. Whoa! He swung around there and came up there with a hard, solid wallop. Chavo now in a position to pound down on his opponent and he is making the most of it. Chavo going for the monkey flip. And he, when he uses that monkey flip, he throws a man up in the air. Whoop, over the top rope. We're gonna have a disqualification. Blackie Gardman blocked. Over the top rope disqualification, two minutes, 15 seconds on the third call. The winner, Chavo Guerrero. Chavo, Chavo went up in the air that time for a monkey flip and found himself boosted over Gordman's head, over the top rope, and down onto the hard floor here at the Coliseum. And the winner of this match on a disqualification is Chavo Guerrero. And Guerrero gets in there a little bit upset. He has just won the match, but he doesn't like to win that way. You can bet your boots. And the quick exchange here between this pair is not going to change the outcome of the match, but it could help the reputation of either man. So Chavo threatened to jump and didn't, and Gordman decided that getting out of there was the better part of valor. So the winner on a disqualification as Nick Kozak raises his hand is Chavo Guerrero. We tell you we'll be back here in a moment after we have this word from the studio.